There's another effort to repeal the Electoral College that's gaining some momentum, the National Popular Vote Movement. States can sign a compact to agree to cast their electoral votes for the popular vote winner. Our Washington correspondent Jesse Turner reports. It's even more important now. Tennessee Democrat Steve Cohen says the deadly riot at the U.S. Capitol strengthened his push to abolish the Electoral College. We've never seen a case more descriptive and more scary than this one where the politicians tried to control the election of the president over the will of the people. Cohen says Congress's role in the election process is unnecessary. It allows the House of Representatives and the Senate to possibly get involved in how the election is determined. That should never be the case. Cohen reintroduced his constitutional amendment this week to replace the Electoral College with a popular vote system. If everybody's vote counts and counts equally, candidates would go to every state. I think their votes count now. John Malcolm with the Heritage Foundation argues abolishing the Electoral College would give more power to larger, more liberal cities. You would end up having a lot of states who have very important interests that are involved uh, in elections. Their voices would be completely marginalized, if not ignored completely. Malcolm says Cohen's proposal would also not limit controversy and potential civil unrest. Well, that might take the target off of the backs of some Congress members, but it would put it on the backs of a lot of local elected officials, you know, and American citizens. Changing the Constitution isn't easy. Cohen's proposal needs support from two thirds of Congress and three quarters of the states. In Washington, Jesse Tenor, KCAU 9 News.